Mr. Karabinchak. Thank you, Renee. Yeah, Rob Karabinchak, 84 Web Street. Uh, just, a, just a few things. Since we're talking about the ethics board, I'm, I'm kind of perplexed. Um, Mr. Petroselli went to the last meeting. I couldn't make it. And uh, obviously, the ethics board still hasn't adopted the rules and regulations. According to the law, that means the ethics board doesn't exist in it as an entity. Um, and yet they, they, and I got my stuff from the ethics board too, the uh, disclosure form, uh, which is fine. However, Council President, they passed, they've already surpassed the, the days that are allowed by law saying they have to form the thing within 90 days. They have so many days, they have days and times that they have to meet. They failed it on every time so far. So I, I would respectfully ask that this council, through council president, find out what's gonna happen if they're not gonna do anything then disband the whole ethics board. Obviously, if they can't, if they can't uh, adopt it, reg the rules and regulations, then uh, rescind it. You have the power to rescind them. Um, a few other things uh, at, at, at uh, Tuesday night's meeting, a lot of stuff was discussed about committees and committees and creating bylaws, which I think is a great idea. Um, however, if you do that and you create more stringent rules and regulations for yourself and also the public, then obviously you don't have that flexibility to do what you'd like to do at any point in time and, and break those rules because as, uh, as this council started out the year, it talked about protocol and procedures. Um, and the more rules you put on it, the more stringent, stringent it gets for yourself. Um, however, the committee would be great. I'm sure it would be a lot of good ideas to come up with that might help everything happen a lot easier and more productive. Um, with that, uh, I'm gonna segue into some other stuff, is that obviously when we talk about procedures and, and policies and stuff, obviously there's all this, this, this council has to meet their own obligations. And there's certain obligations that you have to meet. There's timelines that you have to do things by. And if you can sit up here and talk to the public about how we're going to probably try to curtail the what's, how many minutes you're going to speak and what you're going to speak about or try to condense it, that's, that's fine. At the same time, you have to live by the same rules. However, if you're not meeting your own obligations, uh, trust me, you're going to find out about them. The, uh, the other uh, issues are, one is the, the public TV. Is there any mechanism that, since it's public TV, that an outside agency or a group could pay to be on that public TV, Council President? Uh, anyone? Does anyone I don't know? Mr. No. Mm. I'm not sure I understand your question. Are you saying can, can people give money to can public TV to advertise? Or well, like uh, like on um, let's well, take for instance Channel 15, which is which is our channel, and and we have outside uh, people from outside the town putting stuff on, which is uh, different groups and stuff. Is it allowable to have a, an outside group pay to, to buy time on the TV? As far as I know, nobody's paying to be on TV. I, I understand that, but is there any mechanism to allow a group to pay to gather time on that TV? Not that I know of. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. That's right. No, that's right. I, understand. I, I was just wondering. I'd like to, like <coughs> to find out, because I know a few people that would like to... Uh, purchase some time, and that might be a revenue generator for the town. The, um, one of the other things is, uh, again, back to the redevelopment agency. Um, obviously, this is <coughs> close and dear to my own heart here, and um, if I sounded uh, a little crass before, I apologize, that's not what it meant, it's just that it's, a, it's an emotional piece for me, because this is, this is so important that it's going to restructure and has the potential of restructuring the future of Edison completely. You, what you see today and what this potential um, vote's going to do to the future of Edison 